Hey guys, it's Tina and today I am sharing my long overdue experience straightening my hair using my Irresistible Me Diamond Flat Iron. So I'm starting off on blown out hair and for a complete blowout routine then please check out the description box, I'll leave a link for you to that video. But first, let's talk about this Irresistible Me Diamond Flat Iron. This is one slick iron with ceramic and tourmaline technology which protects the hair, keeping our natural oils, color and moisture in and leaving the hair healthy, shiny and freeze free. Now all the buttons are located on the inside which is kind of cool because then you are sure you are not accidentally changing the temperatures. That will not be a good look. So this is a one inch flat iron and it's very flexible to hold in the hand it's very light super light and it hits up to 450 degrees in under 20 seconds that is so quick what you don't believe me watch in real time to see how long it takes then Yep, that was 17 seconds. Fabulous! So I believe this was my first time actually flat ironing my hair myself and let me just say the struggle was real. I could not quite figure out how to use this comb chasing method. I couldn't get my hand right and it felt very odd. So I tried, you know, trying to be persistent and you can see all the faces I'm making but I went through very slowly with my first pass and once I was done, I was like, okay, okay, this is not bad. Let's try this again. Then I had the biggest care. I realized I forgot to use my heat protectant. Oh my God, every natural's nightmare. I was so excited to use my diamond flat iron totally forgot about my heat protectant. Do not do this guys, you want to make sure that whenever you're straightening your hair, you are using a heat protectant to protect those curls. So I sprayed it through, combed it out for even distribution and then said a little prayer, hoping that I had not just destroyed my curls. So I went on to continue flat ironing my hair, I would section off a small inch section and then comb it through with my fine tooth comb and then try this comb chasing method and as you can see every single time that I try to do the comb chasing method the comb will fall away from my hand and it was frustrating to begin with and then I realized I really did not need to use that method so here's what I did and it worked for me really nicely I would start by combing through with my fine tooth comb to remove any tangles and keep my hair as straight as possible. Then I will hold the hair taut and use the flat iron to slowly go through it. I only do one pass but this allows me by going through slowly I am able to really stay in contact with every strand of my hair and flat iron as I go along. Also by going through slowly, my hair is nicely flat iron and I can get away with doing just one pass. And that's really what you want to do. You want to pass the flat iron over your hair just one time because this will also prevent that risk of damaging your curls. Take my word for it guys. Multiple passes of the flat iron over the same section of hair is a guaranteed way to destroy your curls. So don't do it. One pass really slowly and you will get the job done. I really enjoyed using this flat iron. It was so flexible and light to use. And if you would like to try it out as well, I'm going to leave a discount code for you in the description box so you can check it out. And with the YouTube editing powers invested in me, I give you the slow reel of my fully flat ironed hair. 
For this first attempt, I set my iron at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I later on flat ironed my hair again at 400 degrees and although 400 degrees gave me flatter, more slicker results, I prefer this look because it has more volume and that's the beauty of the irresistible made diamond flat iron. You can change the temperatures for versatility with greater results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check the description box for that discount code to get you your own iron and watch my previous videos by clicking the link on here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And until next time, as always, stay beautiful guys. Bye!